Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, you will be learning what are the various types of functional testing. I am going to talk in detail the various types of functional testing. I am going to cover 8 different types of functional testing in this video. So before moving forward, if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe button and click on bell notification so that all our videos will be in your inbox as and in when we publish our new videos so what are the eight different types of functional testing the eight different types of functional testing are we have a unit testing we have a component testing smoke testing integration testing regression testing sixth one is sanity testing smoke system testing and user acceptance testing these are the main important eight important functional testing types available as part of the functional testing category so i am going to explain you in this video in detail about all these eight different types of functional testing with the examples so let us move on and understand what is all about unit testing first so unit testing is nothing but basically this is nothing but a developer test so when the developer completes his writing of the code then he will also be writing the test for it just to validate whether all the interfaces which he has written or any code which he has written which is as per the requirement specifications so that is going to develop by the developer and its main focus is to only standalone test basically so you will be testing only the code which he has written and he is not interested on the code which is written by the others and is only interested in his own code and also he will be validating whether his code is really works or not so he will be interested on his own code which he has written and he will be writing only test only related to his code so hence the unit testing we call it as a developer test and which should be written by the developers and which is a completely a standalone test so this is a first type of testing in functional testing area so then let us move on to the second type of testing which is the component testing this is a second type of testing which is called as a component testing so basically in the component testing where we club together various individual component which is written by the developers and form as a module so here the module is nothing but if i give a few example is a piece of code where which integrates with the various uh, interfaces or various fields so if you take an example a web page we can call it as a login web page so if you say in the login web page we have a username we have a password then we have a submit button so now this entire uh, web page which is called as a login page so here we are going to test the login page so login page testing is called as a component testing so login page testing we call it as a component testing where we will be completely testing all the fields in that page it could be username it could be password or it could be submit button so all the validations we are going to make as part of the component testing so let us move on to the third type of testing which is a smoke testing with the smoke testing which is a third type of functional testing basically the smoke testing will be done when the developers gives a new build when he generates a new build the every build should go through smoke testing 
so smoke testing ends which is very important to ensure whether any new build which has been created by the development team whether which is really a good build or not to validate that smoke testing will be performed so the smoke testing here which is nothing but basically we cover all the functionalities which are very basic in nature and also very important functionality so very important functionalities only we are going to cover as part of smoke testing at least i can say uh, out of the tests which we have maybe let's say 100 percent in this smoke testing we are covering only around five percent of the test will be covered as part of the smoke testing and once the smoke testing is done and if we say the smoke testing is passed then that the build which we tested we call it as a stable build and which is uh, passing all the important functional tests that guarantees that smoke testing is passed and we call that build as a stable build to take it forward so hence the smoke testing is very crucial and this would be performed on every new build which is going to generated by the development team so let's move on to the fourth type of functional testing which is integration testing the fourth type of testing which is an integration testing basically here we are going to test the different uh, the models which we already tested earlier which will be getting integrated and we will be testing together when we integrate multiple modules together and to see do we see any integration challenges are there or not uh, in the integration uh, testing let's say we have a model m1 then we have a model m2 then we have a model m3 so let's say this is an uh, login page then this is in model 2 is an inbox and model 3 is in logout now when all these three if it is get integrates let's say after entering all the username and password and click on login button you should go to the inbox then after performing all the inbox operation when you click on logout then it should perform a logout operation and you should go to the again login page hence here we are going to test all the integration aspects of the entire modules that guarantees that all the flow from one module to the another module is seamless since the integration testing is a very important functional testing which would be performed as part of our testing so let us move on to the fifth type of testing which is a regression testing the fifth type of testing which is a regression testing basically this kind of testing will be performed this kind of testing regression testing will be performed when there is a change in the existing code when there is a change in the existing code or if the developers adds any new code into the existing system or existing functionality that is when we will be performing a regression testing when the perform the regression testing that is going to ensure we are going to ensure there is a regression testing will ensure there is no impact on the changing of the existing code or addition of the new code and also the regression testing would be used to find more issues and also guarantees that no issues will move to the production without being noticed so hence the regression testing is very crucial and which is carries lot of values in it so let us move on to the sixth type of functional testing which is a sanity testing sixth type of testing is a sanity testing basically there is a slight difference between this testing and a smoke testing the sanity testing will be performed only when there is a minor modification in the build 
otherwise we would be doing normal smoke testing if there is a major changes in the uh, functionality but if there is a very minor then we'll go with the sanity testing where we'll be running very few areas because there is a minor modification hence that kind of testing is called as a sanity testing then let us move on to the seventh type of testing which is a system testing seventh type of testing which is a system testing basically in the system testing we will be running the complete system or complete software model against the recommend shared by the business team basically we will have to ensure all our system tests should cover all the recommend and it should be able to trace back to the recommend it should trace back to the recommend document which is an rtm recommend traceability matrix so that will guarantee whatever the system test cases we have that is really going to cover all the functionalities and also ensure it is going to catch enough defects if we are following with the recommend traceability matrix and the second thing which is very important here is whatever the test environment being used to test system testing should be of similar to the production environment basically we should replicate we should replicate the production environment that ensure we are testing as per the client recommend and also as per the client usage how the client is going to deploy in his production environment we should also deploy similar kind of test environment and we should test and that guarantees it also works functional perspective as well as any other challenges which we find towards non-functional all those things which we can really catch if you are going to use similar mirror like production environment that guarantees that we are really testing as per the client recommend and as per the client environments the basically the system testing will be covering purely on technical aspects functional aspects and also business recommend perspective these are the uh, three areas we would be covering as part of the system testing so let us move on to the eighth and the last type of functional testing is user acceptance testing this is the last phase of software testing where this type of testing would be performed by the business users from the client side uh, would be finally using the software which we have implemented and they are going to validate all the real time scenarios or uh, real world scenarios and and these scenarios also very simple scenarios but those are the practical scenarios where business users will be using these scenarios when we sign up the product hence user acceptance testing is a very crucial one until unless business team is not going to sign off then entire testing it doesn't going to end hence user acceptance testing is very crucial and very important one and if i recap or whatever which i discussed till now there are eight is there are eight functional testing types are available and i hope uh, you are able to understand all the different types of functional testing which i discussed just now i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you enjoyed watching this video then please click on like button and if you have visited testing shala youtube channel for the first time then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills thanks for watching this video bye for now take care